Hey guys, so today I've got the new Herbivore Prism Exfoliating Mask. And I thought I would just do a quick first impression. If you were with me on my first AMA on Patreon, I talked about it a little bit. Uh, I've only been able to use this once and only for a couple seconds. I couldn't even leave this on my face for a full minute. They recommend leaving it on for 10 to 20 minutes. If you have normal skin or if you have sensitive skin, 5 to 10 minutes. I couldn't make it a minute. It's pretty strong. So if you're somebody that already does exfoliants on a regular basis or retinol, this could be a, potentially a little too strong. And I wanted to mention that although it's really pretty looking, especially even in the jar, it looks like potion. And a couple other exfoliants I wanted to mention. Uh, the Ordinary one, which is a lot more affordable. This one is a peel and my skin also doesn't tolerate this and the percentages are pretty close. Uh, the Prism is 20% 20, 20 alpha hydroxy and 5% beta hydroxy acids, which are very good for exfoliating skin. I did a pH test of it because after I tried it, I thought for sure the pH was going to be ridiculously low. And it wasn't really that low. It was right, right about 3.5, which is decent. I was thinking it would be like right around 3, thinking about how sensitive my skin was to it. And it was right within the range. Uh, so I cannot use this one very much because this one also irritates my skin. I've had better luck with the Drug Elephant Baby Face, which also has a relatively close percentage as well. I'm not sure if it's the cream formula with this that allows me to use it. My skin is pretty sensitive. I have better luck using something like the Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask, which is ridiculously priced, but it's a lot more gentle for your skin. So, and then uh, this is also an exfoliant from Biosense that came out recently, which is decent. It's more of something you leave on. It's not a mask, but I like this, but don't ever, if you own the eye product, don't ever get those two bottles confused, ever, because you'll be smearing exfoliant all over your eyes. And I almost did it once. Thankfully, I didn't, but I almost did, so I want to mention that. But overall, pretty pricey. If you pick it up, I recommend keeping it in a cabinet because of the glass bottle. But it does contain some good exfoliants in there. It contains a little bit of fragrance ingredients as well. So again, if you have super sensitive skin, it might not be a good idea but it's something you rinse off so it's not left on for a very long time so if you have sensitive skin i would say pass maybe pick up a sample but just be very careful because after like less than a minute i had to rinse it off my skin was so overwhelmed with it because it's so strong but if you have normal skin or oily prone skin or if you haven't had any issues with like the other options such as the ordinary if you're able to use that i'm guessing you'll probably be able to use prism just fine so a little bit pricey but uh the packaging really is cool for this i like the glass jar it's almost got, has like an opaque holographic look to it <laughs> which is probably what made me want to buy it to be honest but overall i don't think i'll ever use this one again so that's why it's just a first impressions i'm probably going to hand this down to somebody that i know that doesn't have sensitive skin. I'll have to think about that. But anyway, just want to do a quick first impressions of it. I'll be back tomorrow with a more thorough review of something I've been able to use more than five seconds worth. So uh, anyway, had fun with my AMA today. So thank you, Patreons. And uh, I'll definitely have to do another one for all of YouTube as well. So anyway, thank you guys so much. And I will see you tomorrow.